a quick update video for my Mega Wang 2000 Turbo Edition hardware plugged into my Commodore 64. This is the emulated code and I'm just uploading the game data to the external RAM on the Commodore 64. Commodore 64 is waiting for the upload to finish. This could be in an external cartridge but at the moment it's being sent over via USB and there we go. So this is a quick demo of some of the updates in the code. The self-playing demo will then go into something like a high score table and this is just a test to make sure that the various routines like palette fading and the raster interrupts for the high score table still work on the real hardware. So this is the real hardware stack plugged into the Commodore 64's user port. The cartridge port is kept free for speed code. So yes, great. The palette fading worked and also the raster based interrupts for the horizontal scrolling for the high score table as it comes in on the screen actually works as well. It's like the arcade version. So the arcade version has a very similar effect for when its high score table comes in. I also want to make sure that the high score table entry routines work and also the data saving works. So the high score entries, if you get a high score, uh, actually get saved into the external, external RAM on a real Commodore 64 uh, flash based cartridge. Of course, the high score table could get saved to a flash based cartridge if the flash, ba flash based cartridge allows the Commodore 64 to update the data, of course. And that loops back to one of the cartridges that I've been designing recently, which is a low cost but high capacity uh, flash based cartridge, which should be uh, released at some point soon. I'm just working on a hardware programmer for that too. So let's, I'm deliberately dying here because I've got some score. I want to see if I can enter my initials into the high score table. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, I've taken out the audio board, so this demo is silent. And that's because I have an extra layer plugged in at the moment for the extra graphical effects. There we go. This is the high score entry. So I've just been tidying up the game demo, adding the final parts to the source code to have a complete game loop high score display and high score entry. So I'm glad that that works. The demo is quite stable as well. So even with all of this extra hardware plugged into the C64, it's all nice and stable and seems to work quite well. So as always, thank you very much to PCBWay for helping to build all of these boards. And most of them work first time, which is a testament to how well PCBWay deliver working designs from whatever I send them. So there's quite a lot of boards. I think it's using currently about 70 to 75 watts of power, which comes from an external power supply, not from the Commodore 64. So all of this source code is available on my public GitHub repository. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, have a great day, evening or night, wherever you are.